So in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, the Apostle Paul tells us that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So we're all guilty. We're all worry, uh, worthy of God's wrath. We're all worthy of God's condemnation. But then he goes on to remind us in the very next verse that we are justified by God's grace and by, uh, by his gift through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 3 and verse uh, 24 says being justified as a gift by his his grace through the redemption which is in Jesus Christ. And so we're justified by being redeemed by Jesus Christ, being redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Redemption uh, is a word that, that, that means purchased or bought. And so when we begin to recognize that, we've been bought with a price, with a very great price. That price is the blood of Jesus Christ. It's not something that we deserve. It's not something that we're we're worthy of. We're worthy of death, hell, and condemnation. That's what we're worthy of is the wrath of God. But by a gift of God, God then justifies us. So why did God do that? Why would God do that? Well, the next verses tells us exactly why God did that. In verse 25, he said, whom God displayed publicly as a propitiation, which means atoning sacrifice in his blood through faith. This was to demonstrate his righteousness because in the forbearance of God, he passed over the sins previously committed. And so there he was talking about the day of Passover. And so because of the righteousness of God, God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for you and for me to become a sacrifice for sin so he could offer to us a gift of grace, that gift of grace that is redemption that wipes away every bit of the sin out of our life if we place our faith in Jesus Christ. That's how we receive that gift. And so then we begin to look at this and we begin to recognize, hey, we're guilty yet, but by God's grace, by his love, by his act of righteousness, uh, and to demonstrate demonstrate his righteousness. The Bible says God provided for us everything that is needed to be redeemed and for us to be then justified. And so with that being said, the apostle Paul goes on in verse uh, 27. He says, where then is boasting? It is excluded. Uh, by what kind of law of works? No, by the law of faith. And then as he continues to, uh, to talk about this, he said, For we maintain that man is justified by faith apart from works of the law. So where then is boasting? What have I done to save myself? Everything I have done has been works towards condemning myself. But everything that Jesus has done has been works towards saving me and saving everyone else that has placed their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Everything I have done has been awful, has been filled with selfishness and, and, and pride and things to bring glory to me. Yet everything God has done has been done to bring glory to him. Everything that I have done is worthy of wrath, of worthy of condemnation, worthy of death, and worthy of hell. Everything Jesus has done is worthy of redemption, worthy of re, re, uh, justification, worthy of glory and eternal bliss. So what do I have to boast in? I have nothing to boast in but the cross of Christ. I have nothing to boast in but Jesus Christ. And his righteousness and his love for saving me. You see, when we begin to look at justification, justification ought to humble us because I'm not worthy of it. I don't deserve it. It's a gift of grace by a God who's demonstrated his righteousness and the fact that he loves us. So if you've not done so already, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ.